that music of the Dark Alliance. the least bit surprised the Dark Alliance got to have the numbers in their favor. See, Double B, something I've noticed with you is that you have excuse after excuse after excuse. It's three on three and that's it. Yeah, I guess Stone Man, Rockin' Ray, and Killer Shane need to go make some more friends if they want even numbers. And I believe, and I believe this is Killer Shane's debut or in ring debut, as far as I'm concerned, inside the ring. So this is gonna be a, an excellent opportunity to see what Killer Shane can do, especially with presented with these circumstances in a six-man tag. Well, the Dark Alliance is filled with a bunch of brilliant adults, where uh, as the uh, Stone Man, he's just got a bunch of little kids as his fans. You can't discredit what Stone Man has done in the past. Multiple time tag team champion, former GCW heavyweight champion, former United States champion, and just like the Dark Alliance, wait for them to get their backs turned and attack. Why am I not surprised? Wait a minute, do see -si do do go Stone Man with a clothesline, Rock and Ray teeing off on beautiful Bobby. And Mustang oh, hello. Down goes Mexican Giant, beautiful Bobby. Now, uh-oh, double clothesline. And Mustang Mike said, see you later. And one would think that would be the smart decision Mustang Mike has made all night. Wait a minute, Rockin' Ray. 
Rock and Ray's been known to take a chance in in the past. We've seen him fly many a time. And we've seen John what Rock and Ray can what he can do, especially when he was in that triple threat semi-final match in the Mayor's Cup. He did some amazing like we things. said earlier. Like we said earlier, Rock and Ray is on a rise here in GCW, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's a future GCW United States champion or even a future GCW heavyweight champion. Stone Man, the veteran, in the middle of the ring, ready to get this match officially started. Note I said officially because we have yet to hear the bell ring. And it looks like it's going to be Mexican Giant starting for Team Dark Alliance. And Giant, with that smash mouth style that he's adopted for many years here in Louisiana and has won many a championship with, just got ran over by the former Major League player in Stone Man and Mexican Giant now seeking comfort from Mustang Mike. It's actually Mexican Giants making his return to the ring tonight after an injury. Uh, he tore his LCL about six months ago and has uh, been working his way back into the ring. It's been a night of comebacks, a night of injuries. And John, what, what hair is he talking about, John? John, what hair is he talking about? You don't see that long, luxurious hair? that stubble? Well, there's not very much hair in this match at all. Well, you got a point there, Nick. Calling elbow tie-up and try, try to hip toss Stone Man and not on your best day. Stone Man showing him how it's done. And Giant once again seeking the comfort of Mustang Mike. And so far, Nick, Team Mark Alliance batting zero for a hundred. Well, they're just gathering their strategy. We'll see what uh, they have in store for these guys in a second. Well, they need to come up with something quick because so far, everything they've tried so far hasn't worked. And prime example right there. Giant went for the kick. Stole and caught the leg. Spins him around. Uh-oh. Hello. Reverse atomic drop. It's a beautiful Bobby. Beautiful Bobby down. we got to understand what it's like coming back from an injury. Mexican Giant still filling out that knee. He's still gaining back his confidence in order to put enough weight on it. And ultimately, he's got to get his rhythm uh, back again. And as you were talking, wait a minute, Rock and Ray, oh my God! Rock and Ray, su su Tope Suicido! Rock and Ray go skyrocket! And took out Team Dark Alliance! Future star in GCW, Rock and Ray. Rock and Ray not afraid to take a chance. And, and that Tope Suicido was a prime example of what Rock and Ray can do. And now tags in Killer Shane. And this is something I've been waiting to see, Nick, is what this big man, Killer Shane, can do. And I think Giant wants nothing to do with Killer Shane. The Mexican Giant Smart Hill go ahead and tag in. Mustang Mike. Because Mustang Mike, from what I understand, trained Killer Shane. They were former, former friends. Both men are from Morgan City. But Mustang Mike would have scored a settle with Killer Shane. Look at the size of this monster Killer Shane. We talked about chaos earlier. And the size of chaos, look at the size of Killer Shane. Killer Shane is cut, he is ripped. I mean, look at the shoulders of Killer Shane, John. He is massive. Yeah, he's got that strong man body. You can definitely tell he does a lot of work in the gym. And here we go, test their strength here between Mustang Mike and Killer Shane. Both men in tremendous physical condition and look at the power of Killer Shane taking it to the former GCW heavyweight champion Mustang Mike and Mustang Mustang Mike back up to a vertical base and pushing Killer Shane into the in the in the corner 
Both men, oh man, showing incredible physical prowess. And once again, the Dark Alliance to the outside. They need to realize they're not safe out there. A little bit of a Nature Boy strut from Killer Shane. What an amazing night of action here in GCW, here in New Iberia. Calling elbow tie up into the side headlock. We've already seen a new United States champion uh, crown tonight, and we've already seen Christian Blake retain his title as well. Man, and that was like the immovable, immovable force meeting the irresistible object, or is it the other way around? And Kitten again. It's like two brick walls running into each other. And once again, went, Mustang went for a clothesline. And man, I, I, be, I believe Killer Shane caught him with his knee. And he's tweaked his knee. He needs a tag. A very good, timely tag there by Killer Shane to Rock and Ray. And something, something is not right with Killer Shane. Killer Shane on the outside trying to walk it off. Hopefully he's not seriously injured. We've seen enough people get injured tonight. We saw Gil Gracie get injured. We saw a poor referee get assaulted by chaos. Hashtag nope of the biggest trend in the world set off by Bobby right now. Rock and Ray just got taken down by beautiful Bobby. Goes for the cover. And there's one thing that beautiful Bobby has adapted since he joined the County Heat, John, is an attitude. Why would you not have confidence when you're part of the best tag team in the world, oh! the County Heat? Rock and Ray just took down. Beautiful Bobby is having his way with Rock and Ray right now. Uh oh. Oh, oh man! Big leg drop there. And again. You're not gonna beat Rock and Ray with just a leg drop. Rock and Ray, more like elevator music, Ray. And now Mustang Mike, the technician, the finesse of the Dark Alliance, now goes to work on Rock and Ray. And at one point, he too trained Rock and Ray as well. So he knows Rock and Ray very well. Even at one point was in the Dark Alliance until he kicked him out. Beautiful textbook suplex from Mustang Mike. He made him think about it before he dropped him. All the blood rushing to the head of Rock and Ray. Guillotine leg drop from the former GCW heavyweight champion. And a cocky cover was not going to get the job done, Nick. Well, Mustang Mike's got to do a little more than that to put him away. And now a blatant choke from Mustang. Mustang Mike in peak physical condition. He is in the prime of his career former GCW heavyweight champion. It's only a matter of time before he's back in that title picture. Sends Rock and Ray into the corner and a, and a little bit of a shot at Stone Man and there's a splash right in the corner. Stone Man usually does that as a setup to the Grand Slam at Power Slam finisher. And Mustang gonna do it again. And Rock and Ray saw it coming. And Rock and Ray. Oh man. Rock and Ray walk the turnbuckles into a tornado bulldog. Almost with a little bit of satisfaction right there, Nick. Well, Mexican Giant's been around the block before he knows. Oh, and look at this! Gonna... Oh man. We saw the power of Rock and Ray back in Plaquemine, John. And we saw what he could do. Going back to earlier. Rock and Ray is on a rise. How many times we gotta say a double B? Tag into Stone Man and Stone Man and Mustang Mike 
have had a worse ow felt that oh jesus man what a chop oh oh man he hit that one out of the park that was an understatement of the night and i think mustang mike would not want to turn around he ain't gonna like the view oh again Snowman just lighting up Mustang Mike with those chops. And he sends him into the corner. This is how it's done. Snowman splash in the corner. And uh oh. Ellie. -oop. Stone Man, the hometown hero, is over uh, right now on that uh, Madman Mike, Mustang Mike. Mustang Mike often referred to as a madman, Nick. So you, so you got that right. And now in a world of hurt, and for about the umpteenth time in this match, Team Dark Alliance taking a powder on the outside. And I think Stone Man will have none of it. Stone Man attacking Mustang Mike off the ring apron and sent him back into the ring. And he's met with a jawbreaker. And again, Stone Man's lucky his jaw isn't broken and wired shut right now after that. Brutal draw break. The wars Mustang Mike and Stoneman have had in the past speak for themselves. And here comes beautiful Bobby. And they make a wish on Stone Man. And now beautiful Bobby going to work on the former United States champion, a former Major League Baseball player. And Stone, oh wait a minute, and Bobby, beautiful Bobby, no stranger to the power game. Buddy, is he going to pull it? And he's going to drop the elbow and does right into the, the midsection of Stone Man. Goes for the cover and Rock and Ray breaking up the pinfall. And a tag right back into Mustang Mike. You want to talk about two men, John, that hate each other. You have to talk about Mustang and Stone Man. These men go way back. Mustang Mike returning the favor from earlier with those chops. The last time we were here, Stone Man oh, said that's... that he didn't want Mustang Mike back in New Iberia. Those chops did nothing but fire up Stone Man. Who's going to work on Mustang in the corner. Got there with the foot of Mustang Mike. And now, finally, for the first time in a few in a while, Mexican Giant dropping the fist on Stone Man. Stone Man has a lot of enemies in this match. In particular, John, Mexican Giant and Mustang Mike. And he's biting him. He, Giant is biting him. I'm not surprised by this. Again, Giant is that that smash, smash mouth in your face style, ground and pound. This guy's a maniac. And look what he's doing to Stone Man. And Pompito, that little mosquito. Getting in his legs. Beautiful Bobby. Come on, give me a break. This is six on three. Dark oh Alliance. my god! And that's gonna be it. Giant held him out to dry and only a one count, wow. says the referee. That was an emphatic kick out right there, Nick. Stone Man showing that he, that's not gonna go down like this here in his hometown. Tag back in to Mustang Mike. And Stone Man in a world of trouble needs to make a tag. I'm gonna kill her, Shane, or I can win! Oh my god! And here's, there's the tag! There's the tag to Rock and Ray! Rock and Ray going to work on his former mentor in Mustang Mike. Mike's trip right there from Rock and Ray. Rock and Ray going to work. Rock and Ray with a major nice. big suplex. Goes for the cover and beautiful Bobby breaking it up. And again, that speaks to the 
amazing power ability, Nick, of Rocket. Oh, give me a break. That was a low blow. Mustang Mike taking the cheap way. Eye for an eye, Billy. Um, you know, what we saw that Rocket Ray tried to take oh. out. Oh, oh my wow. God. That's more than make a wish. That's more like take me out to the ball game. I don't think Rock and Ray will be having any kids anytime soon. I have to agree with you on that one. And now Rock and Ray. Rock and Ray's got a lot to prove in this match. Fighting back as best as he can against beautiful Bobby. Beautiful Bobby missing the clothesline. Swinging for the fences. Oh, and a big cross body for Rock and Ray. Goes for the cover of beautiful Bobby and a kick out. A desperation cross body, one could say, Nick. Because Rocky Ray cannot capitalize from that cross body. Now back into the ropes. Oh, and a double! Exactly, both men thinking close line. They need to desperately make a tag right now. The question is who's going to be able to do it first? Exactly, beautiful Bobby. Now going towards this corner. Rock and Ray, a little bit worse for wear. Inching closer and closer to Stoneman and Killer Shane. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Killer Shane. Killer Shane didn't take the tag. Well, he, as we saw, he tweaked his leg a little bit earlier on. Well, yeah, we saw that, but it looked like Killer Shane wanted to get into the match, and then something's not right here. Wait a minute. Oh, well, the ref just needs to get the heck out of the way. What's going on Stoneman here? Stoneman was going for the grand slam. And now Mustang Mike just dropped him with a DDT. Wait a minute. Look at Rock and Ray. Rock and Ray on the top. Rock and Ray, hello. Oh, my God. In the wrong place at the wrong time. And Rock and Ray. Huge cross body from Rock and Ray. Beautiful Bobby. What a beautiful power slam. And Killer Shane! Oh, Things are breaking oh, down here. Oh, oh. Oh. It's the knee. It's the knee. The knee buckles on. Killer Shane could not pick up beautiful Bobby. You know what? As strong as someone can be, if you don't have your... Something isn't right about this, Killer Shane. Oh. Flash in the corner, and Stone Man saw it coming. And Giant realized he just made a big mistake. Wait a minute. Stone Man! Grand Slam! The Grand Slam! But the referee is still down. Oh, wait, wait a oh, minute! Say. Wait a minute! What the hell? What the hell? And the ref coming back too. Killer Shane just stabbed Stoneman in the back! And they took a line of steel. Oh my god, this is a setup! And it appears his leg isn't hurt at all. Oh, the Dark Alliance oh knew what they were doing god. all along. It was a setup! Are you really surprised, B from Double B? Unfortunately, no, I'm not. Another insurance policy from the Dark Alliance. They knew they had this thing sealed up because they had the inside guy. I am literally just sick of it. inside job. It was an inside job, just like 9-11. We'll talk about that on a later episode. And, just... and they're dancing around like they're proud of themselves. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I am literally sick to my stomach. Stone Man. Just hit the Grand Slam, a Mexican giant, and then Killer Shane with a Uranaki Slam, taking down Stone Man and just stabbing him in the back. Again, it was an inside job all along. But one of these days, Killer Shane is going to get his comeuppance. Uh -oh. and, and it could be right Stone now. Man's got a chair. And Dark Elias might want to head for the hills. So does Rock and Ray. Rock and Ray's got a chair too. They've had enough of the Dark Alliance. They 
I've had enough of the Dark Alliance antics. What up, being? What up, being? Said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Double B Bully Boudreaux, Nick Fuquay, John Lee here. Thank you for tuning in to GCW.